Ah, the globe. Strap yourselves in for another geography class. Only joking. I know what you're all thinking. What does this have to do with me? But it involves something we all love. Food. <laughs> so what problems do our fellow farmers face? There's toxins which are harmful to us, and even animals which can result in death. There's also a decline in soil fertility, which is caused by the loss of organic matter in the soil. There's also annoying wind and water erosion, even the lack of irrigated farming areas. And let's not forget about those local pests and fungi, which can develop a resistance to certain pesticides over time. So what exactly is the solution? That's right, you heard it, we're off to Mars. The Mars Exploration Rover made by NASA features a variety of different tools which can be adopted for agriculture. The first tool of the rover includes the Rover Environmental Monitoring Station, which allows it to collect weather data such as atmospheric pressure, humidity, ultraviolet radiation at the Martian surface, wind speed and direction, air temperature, and even the ground temperature. The next tool is the Dynamic Albedo of Neutrons. I know it sounds complicated, but you can just call it Dan. Dan is used to search for water and ice, and it does this by using a neutron detector. The Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer is used to measure the abundance of chemical elements in rocks and soils, which is brilliant news for farmers. The rover even has its very own camera, which can record HD video and take pictures. The Chemistry and Mineralogy, or the ChemMen unit, monitors and looks at the abundance of certain minerals, the chemin can also drill into rocks, collect the powder, and place it in the sample holder, ready for analysis. It can even use a scoop to collect soil. So what exactly does this mean for farmers? The Rover Environmental Monitoring Station can be adapted to allow farmers to keep track of data like the temperature, which can be linked to automatic irrigation systems. Additionally, wind speeds and directions can be monitored which can give farmers the ability to prepare for heavy winds and even potential storms. Secondly, the dam unit can be modified to analyse the water content in the land soil. This could also be linked to auto-irrigation. The Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer, or the APX unit, can be adapted to allow an agricultural rover to measure the chemical elements in the soil. This can also determine the quality of the soil, allowing farmers to cater for optimal plant growth and health. The HD camera can be operated remotely by a Wi-Fi connection and will allow the farmer to keep track of the agricultural rover. Lastly, the final adaption from the Mars rover to the agricultural rover will include the ChemMin unit. The following system will allow the rover to collect soil samples and place it in suitable containers for the farmer to conduct any further analysis. Also, the machine can measure the abundance of minerals and chemicals in the ground, which includes nitrogen, phosphorus, magnesium, and sulfur. These levels, along with the exact coordinates of the measured levels, are then saved to the cloud and can be monitored in real time via the Wi-Fi connection. Farmers can manually override the agricultural rover and control it utilising a Wi-Fi connection along with their multitude of devices, such as computers and smartphones. They can also retrieve real-time data analytics such as the rover's status, coordinates, power levels, schedule, and even the location of the soil samples collected. The end result, you may ask, a multifunctional rover capable of monitoring the soil's water content and minerals alongside abilities such as the monetization of the ground and air temperature, humidity and wind conditions. Easy monetization is only a tap and slide away with the ability for farmers to analyze and control the rover remotely from the comfort of their home. A total deliverance of complex technology made simply easy for agricultural workers. The farming of the future. Authorized by the Australian Government Camera.